friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. I am nowhere near a river this week. I am with my buddy, Lee. Lee, what up? This what is up? Lee. Lee is a man of many skills. So one of Lee's gigs is knife making. This is gonna be my new knife. So basically, Lee's gonna take me through it. I'm going to make a knife and then uh, it's gonna be awesome. So first thing we're gonna do is cut this out, I think. Let's do it. Cool. So this, safety glasses. That's it. That's good. Yep. Good. Take good. a chunk off there, yep. Yeah. Alright. So we got that. That's what we got right there. So these are called loveless bolts. Um, the steel part goes all the way through here, and these two brass parts uh, clamp the wooden scales to the, the knifey blade, oh. the lanyard tube. So what we need to do is mark the handle holes. How I do it is, so that's my blade part. Yeah. I imagine where the front's gonna of the handle is gonna be, which will be about here for you somewhere. You've got to work that out. Okay. But I would suggest be about there. Yeah. And uh, once you've imagined that, then you want to mark the center line. Yeah. And then decide where your spacings are gonna go. It was rather expertly I made these little divots here, and that is for the epoxy to go in, right? Correct. So it sticks. Helps the scale stick to the gotcha. steel. Turn it over. There you Both go. Both sides. Both Boom. sides. Cool. This is what we've got so far. So it kind of looks like a knife, but now we're going to grind down this outsidey stuff to the well to the outline, really, and we're going to do that with this guy and some sandpaper so that's where we're at that's the guy Coco too cool for school all right Okay, right. you can see here, hopefully, the scratches here are like this way. If we were to heat treat the steel like that, they'd be stress risers and the, the steel might break. So what we want to do is align all the scratches along the long length so they're not stress risers. How do you do that? <clears throat> ha! Glad you should ask. Ah, so we, we use this technique here on the bottom wheel here <laughs> with the guard removed. Uh, yep. And that's basically it. Gotcha. Then I'll put the small wheel attachment on. Uh, I'll take this one off, I'll put this one on, and we can get in there and radius out that to a nice finger choil. Cool. Cool, Sounds cool. Good. Yep. cool. Okay, so what we've got to decide now is what sort of bevel you want on there. Because of what you want to do, do with your knife. <laughs> Wreck shit. You probably want sort of a convex grind. So what we might do is we might leave some meat in the back here so she's grunty. So we're gonna come up from our choil here. This will be our plunge line. And I'm thinking we go sort of here. Right. Like that. So basically, this is what your knife will look like. Okay. So all this will be handle, wood. We're gonna go for a primary grind here about a third of the blade. Yep, and we'll convex that. And what that means is we'll make it <clears throat> like seed shaped like yep. that. It's just pretty grunty and so you've got some weight behind it. A bit hard wearing, yeah. Yep. You've still got all this weight here. If that's us. Cool man, it's yeah. starting to look like a knife. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get this ready for heat treatment. So I might whack it on the surface grinder and uh, tidy this surface up to 400 grit, sand it basically, okay. and make it smoother on both sides. All right, cool. So 
this bad boy is coming out now. What what is this? Bad this boy? is a surface grinder. Where is your knife? Oh. I'm gonna grind the surface of the knife. This is gonna make this flat and parallel. Flat and parallel both sides. So that's what we're looking at so far. It's pretty good. I'm already pretty attached to this knife. This is gonna be a good knifey. A good knifey. Definitely got some emotional attachment to it already. This oven is now at 190 for two hours. Stop. Quarter two. All right, in the meantime, we need to do the wood thing. All this stuff here is all native wood. New Zealand natives, huh? New Zealand natives, yeah. Black Mari, Utakawa, Kamahi, which is a rare, rare wood. Black Mari again, Putakawa. I think this is the guy. I'll go with this. Oh, that would be very similar to that kind of finish. It's cool. I like that. Blades in the oven, hour to go. That's drying, that's going to be overnight. Bacon sandwich. Bacon sandwich. Done. Uh, that's two hours that's been baking and we're now gonna go and cool it down and then we'll bang it back straight back in for round two. All right that's the guy so that's that's one round done in the oven so we're gonna go straight back in for another two hours and then eat more bacon sandwich. <laughs> eat more food. <laughs> How are you feeling about that? I'm feeling pretty good about it, to be honest. Yeah. I'm quite excited. It's now got a soul. So the heat treat of a knife is the soul. Yeah. It's the soul of a knife. All right, so that's going to go back in there for another two hours. And then um, once it comes out, we're going to do what? Grind it? Uh, we're going to polish it. Polish it, final polish, and then revisit this on another day. Hundred two forty. Started at sixty grit on a ceramic belt. Then we went to hundred. Yeah. And then we went to uh, aluminium oxide belts. We did two forty, four hundred, six hundred. Cool. So there you have it. That's what we did. And this is what we're looking at so far. This is kind of how we're looking. Pretty really sharp. Pretty really good. We are not too far away from everything we can do today. You can see it's starting to get a bit darker, a bit colder. And what are we doing here? Set this machine up so we can. Through the edges. Ah, through the edges. Through that. So, we've cleaned up all these edges here. We've got our bevels in, our primary bevels. We'll put a secondary bevel in when we sharpen it. Looking really sharp. Really nice. Day two will be to uh, sand these flats here to get them mirror finished. We'll do that by hand. And then um, rough up this bit and fit the scales and then shape the handle. Sick. Boom. Nice one, brother. Knife is a knife.